Welcome to a tutorial on clocks by Coldplay. We start here in the in E flat, and um, the easy uh, way to play it is just with three notes. And we go one, two, three, one, two, three, and we go from E flat to B flat minor here. And if you can play the octaves here, then it will sound more like the original. end on F minor. So left hand, the easy part is one, two, three, four. And again here, and to F. And then the bass player is playing eighth note, so one and a two and a three and one and a two and a three. And we could <coughs> simulate that in the the bass line here, or maybe just played with one of the, maybe I tend to play to the top note, so I go one and a two and a three, one and a two and a three, one and a two and a three, one and a two and a three. And if this is too hard for you, then uh, slow it down and maybe skip the octaves and just go so that's the intro and um, it's the same chords uh, for the verse lights go out I can't be saved and I recommend playing some broken chords here um, I'll give you my two favorite positions here if you know your E flat chord then you can go thumb thumb index and fourth finger here and then you can reach for the octaves if you want but this is the core position it's what I call the octave position and we can play broken notes up or down or more complex rhythms and then we my other favorite position is the fifth position here where we have the second chord, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, five. And the left hand, when it's not playing octaves, then it's often playing fifths. And the right hand, also like fifths, but we need a little color here, so we add the two and the three. B, C, D, B flat, C, D flat in this case. Da, 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 da. We could do the same on F, like fifths. Two and a third, so it goes one, five, one, two, three, five. Or we could play the octave position here and maybe invert it. So we have this way to play F minor and this too. I tend to go from octave position here to fifth position and then again octave position and sometimes I leave out the octaves without them it would sound like this and that's also fine and a bit more manageable probably the rhythm I'm playing right now is one and a two and a three and so I'm breaking up this in one and a two and a three and and the main thing is not the order of the notes it's really just the strong and the weak beats strong sh strong weak weak strong weak weak strong strong weak weak strong weak weak strong or you could think of it as two long and one short long long short long long short long long short long long short so what goes in between the main beats the longs and the shorts anything goes A 
nice thing to do uh, with the weak beats is to add little melody notes like licks. So I'm basically just adding a little melody line here that maybe starts on E flat and then goes up and then down and then more down and up and down again and up and actually I'm putting the melody in those strong beats here so one and two and a three one and a two and a three one and a two and a three one and a two and a three so, actually, I'm <laughs> right now I'm putting melody notes on the strong beats. So, well, that will be it. No, actually, we need uh, the, <laughs> the bridge part. Let me just uh, hook you up with the lyrics here. So, there you go. First verse is, we have an intro. And then we go, lights go out, I can't be saved. Tides that I've tried to swim against. And we go whatever we like here. And then after the second verse, there's a chorus, and that's with the with the intro riff along with it. You are You are and second verse and until we get to the bridge here, which is on an F sharp or a G flat, maybe more fitting for the key here. And nothing else compares. So it's from G flat to D flat. And again, I would go from fifth position to octave position, or from root position to first inversion in the right hand. Nothing else compares to keep it all nice and smooth. And the final one is this the A flat. And this is actually the key of the song, so it finally comes here. And nothing else compares. Then we go one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So this, this, and this. This over E flat, this over B flat, and then finally F minor. We have still nine here. All right, that will be it for this time and have fun playing and let me know if you have suggestions or comments or anything. Otherwise, just I wish you a great day. Take care, see you around.